Hey everyone, Dan from On One here. I want to show you how to use snapshots. A snapshot is a way to keep track of all of your settings you've done on a photo. You can create as many snapshots as you want so that you can kind of use it like a version history. You can go back to different states and time. I'm going to show you the way that I use it, but there's lots of different ways you can take advantage of it. You'll find snapshots up here in the navigator next to history. And when I click on snapshots, you'll see original. That's the first state of the photo. I haven't done anything to it. I can always go back to that original state. Now what I can do is as I work, each time I get to kind of a spot that I'd like to save, I just hit the new snapshot button. So for example, I'm going to go through and I'm going to do some retouching first. So I've grabbed the healing brush here and I just want to get rid of a few of these little spots that I don't like in my photo. So there's one I'm going to get rid of. And there's another little one right down here I don't like. Now I just hit the new snapshot button and I can give it a name. You notice it automatically creates a date and timestamp for me automatically, but I can name it whatever I want. So I'm going to call this retouching. Next, let's say I want to crop my photo. I'm going to grab the crop tool and I want to give this kind of a wide panoramic look. So I'm going to go for that 16 by 9 look. There we go. I like that. Uh, I'm going to call this crop. I'll make another snapshot for that. And then I'll do one for my adjustments. I'm going to start off with AI Auto. It usually does such a great job. Now I'm just going to adjust the amount to where I like it. There we go. I'm going to bring the highlights down just a little bit more. I'll take another snapshot and I'll call this one Tone. Nothing very earth shattering so far, but you notice I now have steps that I can go back to at any point in time, not just during my current editing session, but even tomorrow and go back in time and make adjustments if I wanted to. It lets me roll back. So for example, if I wanted to go back to just where I finished my retouching, I just simply click back on the retouching state and it sets everything back to the way it was, or I can roll back forward to when I've done my next set of adjustments. Where this becomes really handy is when I want to try out different effects on my photo. Maybe I'm not sure what kind of a treatment I want. Do I want it to be warm or do I want it to be cool? Do I want a matte look? Do I want black and white? Sometimes I don't know. I want to be able to create snapshots of those different effects to really figure out what I like. But I could also take snapshots of different crops and be able to compare different crops or any of those different options that you can do inside of Photo Raw. I'm going to start off with kind of a warm glowing look. So I'm going to go to effects and I want to add kind of a warm glow. I'll use the sunshine filter to do this. This adds kind of that nice, rich, warm glow. I want it to be a little less strong and a little bit warmer. So I can now save that as one snapshot. But you know, maybe I'm not sure that's what I want. Maybe I want to do black and white instead. So I can just get rid of that snapshot and maybe I want to go try out black and white. And maybe I'll save a snapshot of that. Now it's easy for me to flip back and forth and compare the two different looks that I'm interested in. Now here's what's really handy about those snapshots. Let's say I go back to browse and I'm doing some other work and I accidentally reset all the settings on my photo. Well, luckily those settings are still actually there. They're always kept in those snapshots. So now if I go back into edit, you'll notice all of those are there and I can go back and pick any of those other snapshots that I created in the past, even though I've done a reset all. The other thing you might notice is it automatically creates a snapshot every time I edit. So I can always get back to whatever the settings were the last time or any time that I've edited one of my photos. I think you're going to find snapshots a handy addition to your workflow. It's going to protect your settings and make it a lot easier for you to compare different settings options. Thanks for watching.